Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Fatman comes in with a question on Ryzen 7 upgrades. He has a, or he had a 2700X and he replaced it with a 5800X on an MSI Tomahawk. He's got a 2080 Ti and he said the clock's clock difference really impacts the fps i think it's a major upgrade what are your thoughts and i managed to sell the 2700x well here's what's interesting i have crapped all over the 5800x multiple times but the primary reason for that is not that it's not a good cpu it's a great cpu it's yes it's the price it's the price if the 5800x were $100 less expensive. If it were $350 instead of $450, I would have a very different point of view on it. Here's what really causes me to have a problem with the 5800X. The 5900X is only $100 more, if you can find one. And the 2700X you upgraded from has been available for very cheap prices multiple times. A year and a half ago, we did a live stream Black Friday 2019. 135. $135 for 20. Now, you may have paid more. Your circumstances may be different. But it's been available many times for a while at under 200 at least. And the 2700X is good. Yes, a 58. And of course, you also have a really good graphics card. He has a $1,200. RTX 2080 Ti. Yeah. And the faster your graphics card, the more the better CPU makes a difference. If he had a 2060 Super instead of a 2080 Ti, he would not have noticed the same leap in performance because he'd be more graphics card capped. Correct. But it, it does help that you get a $1,200 card. My issue with your upgrade is not the CPU. My issue is the, 50, the Ryzen 9 5900X is only $100 more for 50% more cores and 100% more on-chip cache. 12 cores versus eight and 70 megabytes of on-chip cache versus 36. Having said that, in March of 2021, when this is being recorded, the 5800X is now reasonably available at retail. You can right now go find that at Newegg or Amazon most days. It's been in stock on and off, but I'm starting to see it come back in and stay in stock for at least a few hours at a time. It's not just selling out instantly. The Ryzen 9 5900X is very hard to find and sells out immediately. So hard to find, I still don't have one myself. I have a Ryzen 9 5950X. And I have a 5800X, and I've benchmarked them both. And I will have some upcoming benchmarks with the 5950X. And from a productivity point of view, a simulated 5900X by disabling cores. But that'll be disclosed in the video. It will. Well, we had to do that because we didn't have one. I Because I don't have one. So I understand the problem. But it just... It bothers my deal brain and my deal sense, my 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 my, my spidey senses, my deal senses. When I think of four hundred and fifty dollars for a fifty eight hundred X, I just sort of go, ew. Because if you were going to spend, especially with how much this is, that's true. But in his case, right now, that'd be a motherboard change. Exactly. I'm actually thinking of it the other way around. Here's the problem with that. The big problem with what he just described is. When did the Ryzen 7 2700X come out? Do you remember? I want to say 2017. 2018. 2018. When did this come out? I don't remember. 2018. Same year. I did a video on our channel, on the main channel, i9-9900K versus Ryzen 7 2700X. And I got a lot of flack and a lot of complaints from viewers. <laughs> because at the time, the 2700X was 329, and this was about 529, 500, 500, about 200 hours more. And I said at the time, the 2700X is a perfectly fine CPU. It's good, it's nice, it's great, that's fine. But, get this. but if you have the $200, there's no competition. This thing kicks its butt. 
If you were gonna go to a high performance 5800X, why did you just not buy this in the first place? What the heck did you ever do with a 2700X? Now, we don't know a circumstance. Maybe he got his 2700X for that $135 deal, which, okay, this then becomes dumb when you're, it's all about the price. Correct. But that brings my problem with the 5800X. If you're gonna spend 450, why didn't you spend 500 three years ago and just buy this and be done with it. Now, a 5800X is in fact a little bit faster than this. By a bit. It's minor. It, it is faster, but you know, if you could have had this three years ago, then you just skip all of this. Exactly. Which is the argument that I made in my video back in 2018 when I said, look, the 2700X is a very nice CPU and AMD has brought the deal and AMD has brought competition and they've kicked Intel's butt and they've forced advancement and they did. thank you AMD for doing that. Because this was boring otherwise. However, for 200 bucks more, you can just have the top end chip and just not care. And we see the results of that. He bought a 2700X. Yep. And now he's found a reason, thanks to his 2080 Ti, to go to a 5800X. And if he had just done this in the first place, then he wouldn't have had to care. And that is why I say, people who think your graphics card is the most important decision in your build are generally wrong. Your graphics card is a five minute swap. Your graphics card will be changed possibly two or three, three times, times in the build of uh, the life of your build. Your CPU. Buy the right CPU, buy the right motherboard, get the right, these are foundations of your computer. And your computer can last a long time. You can add RAM, you can add storage, you can change your graphics card. This is a pain to change. And yes, you did an upgrade. You went from 2700X to 5800, good for you. And yeah, you sold your 2700X and you probably got 200 bucks for it but you could have had 90% of the 5800X's performance for the past three years. Yeah. And you could have just not cared. And that is why if you're building today, this is to everybody else. This is, this is not to fat man, this is to everybody else. This is for an extreme budget build. This is an i7-10700F. This was $230 on Amazon. However, as we're recording this, the i9-10850K is 320 at Micro Center and about 380 or 390 on Amazon and Newegg. Run, don't walk by the i9. You're going with the AMD? Well, you basically have two choices at this point. Ryzen 9 5900X or Ryzen 9 5950X, the 12 or the 16 core chip. And of course, inevitably somebody is going to say, I don't have $550 or $800 for a chip. Man, I, I've got a budget machine. I want to put something together cheap. Okay. The i5-10400 has regularly been available for at or under $150. If you want to go cheap and budget, go cheap and budget. If you're going to go premium, go premium. But threading the needle and getting neither premium nor budget, spending 80% of the price of a Ryzen 9 to get a Ryzen 7, Help me out here, honey. This is just, it bothers me. I know. Some people go middle, some people go all, and some people go budget. Your CPU is not the place to go middle. Okay. Go big or go budget. I'm okay with budget. I'm okay with big. Middle kind of doesn't give you any of it. It's kind of the... The dead zone. Master of all, jack of none. No, what is it? I know what you mean. Jack of all, master of none. What is it? Is that it? Jack of all trades, master, master of, of none. none. So go big or go budget. And I'm perfectly happy with budget. And this was a really good deal the other day. And that's, it's an option. But of course, now that the i9s are dropping in price, mm -hmm. fun fact, the i9 10 core 10th gen chip right now is cheaper than the upcoming Eight. i7 Rocket Lake 11th uh, gen chip. And it's eight cores. And, and people go, but 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 10th gen doesn't support PCI Express Gen 4, and 10th gen is the last thing, and I want the new thing. 
It's almost like people are making emotional decisions based upon guesses and assumptions rather than knowings. You're not data. Or Spock. This is in my personal PC at home and it's very nice. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.